Hello everyone, and welcome to the start of a new review series. Uh, a series of reviews for Ayashimon, the brand new series in Shonen Jump by Kaku Yuji, who you may know is the author of Hell's Paradise, a series that I did a video on almost a year ago, uh, and that is very good, probably in my top five somewhere. Um, and the prospect of Kaku Yuji doing a new series uh, and it having something to do with demons was my uh, primary, that was, that was where I got most of my interest in it from. Um, now, I know a lot of the, the uh, usual suspects have already done the rounds talking about this series when the first chapter came out, um, so I'm a little late to the party. I'm also kind of late because the chapter came out like three days ago and I'm just doing a review now, um, but I'm on vacation. I'm doing this to, like, kind of have something to put out. Um, and also, I think Chapter 2 is actually quite a bit better than Chapter 1. Chapter 1 was pretty good, um, but it didn't have anything that really blew me away. So I was like, alright, let's 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 see what happens in the next chapters. And then we got the next chapter, and here I am doing a review on it. Um, so, yeah. This chapter's primary purpose is establishing what the conflict of the story is going to center around and who our potential villains are going to be we kind of get like a pool from which we can draw potential villains from but i guess also supporting characters who aren't villains um so to start our female lead urara is the daughter of a guy named kyo and kyo ruled the Enma Syndicate. Um, kind of. It's There's a lot of big words going around. Um, there's several big groups. He's the Oyabun of Shinjuku. He controlled the Enma Syndicate and the Kabukicho Underworld. There are a lot of big Japanese words that I'm going to need to memorize for this. This is how you can tell it's chapter 2. Um, I, don't, I don't have any of this shit. Um saved in memory yet not committed to memory um but in due time we'll get there but then Kyo died and then as a result pretty much all of the factions splintered and went off to try and do their own thing and take control of the uh the yokai underworld pretty much and urara wants to take over so that's what she has maro here for is because he seems pretty strong and the two of them can probably take over. And we also get this funny scene where they're talking about all of this insane shit on a public subway. So other people are sitting around watching them like, what the fuck? What are you people talking about? Um, and I'm sure some of them are also sweating because well, this lady's talking about like Yakuza stuff. And, you know, you should probably be a little on edge when you're around Yakuza. Um... And when this little kid asks, like, what are they talking about? She says, oh, we're talking about a manga. Um, so we got a little bit of, like, kind of fourth wall breaking. Not actual fourth wall breaking. But in chapter one, Maruo talks about how he wants to be a manga protagonist and how what's happening feels like it's happening in a manga. And it's, it's done in a way where I think it's clever enough. It's not, like, really lazy fourth wall breaking stuff. I like the way it's done. So, um, hopefully any of the future jokes about this being a manga will be just as good as these ones. So they go off, and, uh, they meet a character called Hashihime. And Hashihime is the prime example of why I was so excited for this series. So, Hell's Paradise has really cool designs, has really cool monster designs, and when I heard that Kaku Yuji was going to do a new series that had yokai in it, I'm like, yokai? Kaku Yuji's art style? Oh god, yes please. So, Hashihime is, um, really fucking cool. Uh, she seems to have a body made out of candle wax, but then she has a yokai mask face that seems to emit fire. It's really goddamn cool. It's really goddamn cool. I'm a big fan of it. So, um, that's one half of the coin. The other half of the coin is that Hashihime's human form is really attractive. Um, Tago Yuji is 
one of those artists who understands that drawing realistic women is a good idea. There's there's a difference. Not that like, listen, we all love big titty anime women, right? We we understand this. However, something about the way people like Fujimoto draws women hits different because they're realistic. They look like actual women you would see in real life. And the same is here with Kakuyuji. If you go back and look at pretty much all of the female characters from Hell's Paradise, Sam rings true for them, and the same rings true here for Hashihime. Um, so, I quite like her already. Great designs in both forms. Um, now, she seems to have sort of a um, caretaker, young master dynamic with Urara. She was the one that pretty much saved Urara's life after her father died. Um, you know, took her away from all of the crazy shit that was happening. So naturally, Hashihime wants to know, why are you back? Well, the reason's simple. Revenge. We're gonna get the family crest, that's like a memento from her father, and then we're gonna kill everyone else. We're gonna kill all those motherfuckers. Um, they're his murderers, the people directly responsible for it, and then everyone else. We're just gonna wipe the slate clean. Alright? Great. So, this is kind of a revenge story. It's, it's a revenge story on Urara's part, and Maru is the sort of unwitting participant in it. Because for him, it's mostly like, yeah, we're gonna, I'm gonna fight demons. I'm gonna have real fights with demons and various other monsters um, without really any real knowledge of why. So, Maru and Hashihime have a fight. It's like an actual fight. Um, I'm glad to see that Maru is not just one-shotting people. Um, this does mean, in fact, that, you know, there are going to be fights that Maro loses or that he really high diffs. Um, I'm not worried about this being like a, a complete solo leveling season two situation. Um, so anyway, we, at the end of the chapter, get a, um, an assortment of various factions that are going to pose challenges to our protagonists at some point or another. We, we list off the potential villain groups, much like how I'm about to list off my wonderful patrons. Special thanks to Fuse, Neo, Dijon Redden, Anthony Chavez, Honey Mustard, Zach Rowitz, K-God, Chris Redfield, Scratch23, Rat, Ryzen 4K, Artist, Mac Campaign, Wave of Manga, Chuck Speed and Seed, and Jakester Easy. Thank you all very much for supporting me on Patreon. I greatly appreciate it. And if you too want to get a shout out at some point during videos or access to reviews for solo leveling and the boxer, you can always become a patron as well. There's a link to my Patreon down in the description. So, these potential big villain groups are the New Enma Syndicate, which is basically the usual Yakuza types. Apparently, the new chairman is much more vicious. Uh, then we have the Todoroki Alliance, which is a collection of biker gangs. Then we have the Ayakashi V-Stars, who host nightclubs. And then the Kori Hotel Group, which, you know, as you would expect, there are a bunch of guys who run hotels. So, out of the groups that we have here already, the new Enma Syndicate seems like it's overall probably the coolest. I'm not, like, the biggest fan of the biker gang aesthetic. I mean, I like it, but I'm not, like, crazy for it. Um, but I imagine the Todoroki Alliance is probably going to be the most fun out of all of these groups. Uh, and then the other two seem like they could, you know, provide something interesting. Um, so I'm, uh, I'm quite looking forward to seeing how this turns out. Um, now, Maro needs to learn the rules of the ritual duel uh, because, you know, fighting on Urara's behalf is more than just fighting. Uh, it's, it's like an honor thing. Uh, so, you, you gotta learn the etiquette for it, and I guess that's probably gonna be what he's learning about in the next chapter, uh, and, uh, we'll, we'll see how interesting that is. Uh, so, that's pretty much all I have to say about chapter two. Um, I don't plan on this being, like, an every week series, like Jujutsu or Kengen. Um, this is gonna be more of, like, a supplementary series, where if we get a chapter of Ayashimon that's really good, I'm gonna do a review on it. If we get one that's just kind of eh, probably not going to do a review on it. 
Um, more or less, do I have a lot to say about this chapter? If yes, you'll get a video on it that week. If not, then probably not. But if you don't want to miss any of them, you should definitely like, comment, subscribe, and click that notification bell so you don't miss any of these Ayashiman reviews. If this is the first video you've seen from me, I also do videos on Jujutsu Kaisen, Kangen Omega, and Record of Ragnarok, so if you're interested in those, you should definitely check out my channel. If you want to talk about Ayashiman with me or other people, or talk about any of the other series I cover on this channel, you should definitely check out my Discord. I have a link to that down in the description. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys around. Take care.